And now, once again, Chick-fil-A is proud to present the PBS award-winning television series, Between the Lines. Lionel and Leona has striked again with some songs and stories just for you. I hope you're open to like it. Enjoy. Hey now, hey wow, here's how, come and read between the lions, come on. The Yucky, Yucky, Yucky Duck by Lionel. The cute little duck jumps in a cute little mud puddle. Oh, what a yucky duck. Quack! The cute little duck splashes in the cute little mud puddle. Oh, what a yucky, yucky duck. Quack, quack. The cute little duck jumps out of the cute little mud puddle and takes a nap in the sun. Oh, what a yucky, yucky, yucky duck. Quack, quack, quack. Cute! Aww, but, 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 but not as cute, right? Oh, that's true. Well, Good right. Right. Not, not as cute. cute. Pretty cute! Good enough, not as cute, is good enough. Thanks, Lionel. The Queen Who Wanted to Touch the Moon. Mm -hmm. A new bedtime story written expressly for Leona by her mother, Cleo. And there's a queen named Leona? who was gazing at the moon over her lagoon. How beautiful! What is it made of? How far away is it? Luckily, her brother was there to explain it all. I don't know. Rock? Uh, far. That's fascinating. I want to touch the moon, and I want to touch it soon. So Queen Leona ordered her brother and her platoons to build a tower so high it would reach to the moon. Use every box. Use every chair. Start the pile right here and make it reach up to there. The Queen's brother and platoons piled everything high. It rose over the kingdom and up into the sky. Queen Leona walked up and up, and up and up, and up and up and up, until she was completely out of breath. But when she got to the top, she could not touch the moon. I want to touch the moon, and I want to touch it soon. How could she touch the moon? Queen Leona looked down to Earth and saw the answer. She saw her lagoon, and reflected in it was the beautiful moon. Queen Leona took a deep breath and jumped. And there, in her own lagoon, Queen Leona could touch the moon as much as she pleased. The end.
The Three Little Pigs Meet the Wolfinator. A sequel by Lionel. <laughs> he wrote it all by himself. Mm -hmm. I had mm -hmm. nothing to do with it. So, so don't blame me if you get scared. <laughs> Once upon a time at the Wolf Hospital, a very smart and very evil wolf doctor was finishing her repairs on the big, bad wolf. <laughs> For years, we wolves have been huffing and puffing with nothing to show for it. <laughs> but today, oh yeah, all of that will change. Because I have not simply fixed your poor burned tushy, my friend. Oh no, I have turned you into the wolf Hello. You are perfect. Where other wolves have lungs, you, my wolfinator, have mega huff and puff pumps that will blow down any wall. The wolfinator went to the home of the three little pigs. Little pig, little pig, let me come in. No, no, you can't come in. Not by the hair of my chinny chin chin. Then I'll turn on my mega huff and puff pumps and I'll blow your house in. Oh no. Robo pigs! We don't just drink tea anymore. Yipes. And with that, the wolfinator turned and ran as fast as his bionic legs could carry him. I'll be back. The three robo pigs rumbled after him. Happily ever after. The end. This is the story of what happens after the end of The Three Little Pigs. It's called The Three Little Pigs, The Sequel. Da -da -da -da. Once upon a time, the big bad wolf was in a hospital after burning his tushy going down the three little pigs chimney. As your doctor, I'm warning you, time to cut down on the huffing and puffing. It's those pigs. They're too smart. <laughs> You need to use your brain. Use my what? Your brain in your head. I have a brain? Uh, loosely speaking. A brain, eh? What do I do with it? What you need to do is... Later, there was a knock at the three little pig's door. Who is it? Little pig, little pig, let me come in. I'm, uh, uh, another pig. Oink. It's a pig, all right. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah, mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Pig. Pig. We got a pig. A pig. Come in. Why, thank you. The wolf started to take off his costume and was going to eat the pigs when the first little pig said, Cup of tea? No one had ever asked the wolf if he wanted tea before. Now be careful. This is very hot. No problem. I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll cool your tea down. <gasps> Yum. Try a muffin. Oh. Mmm, delicious! And they really lived happily ever after. The end. Oh, give it up, give it up. <laughs> Thank you! That was a wonderful sequel, Leona. It really gives the story a whole new meaning. Oh, thank you. And now, the new Fox and Crow. Written by Lionel the Lion. And Leona the Lion. And dedicated to birds everywhere. 
everywhere. Can mm -hmm. we get on with it? Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> yes, let's hear it, Lionel. <clears throat> A fox was walking in the woods one day. A fox saw a crow in a tree. The crow had a very, 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 very big piece of cheese in her beak. The fox said, Look at that beautiful bird. If she could sing, she would be the queen of all birds. That's right, the queen of all birds. The crow opened her beak and let out a... She also let out the very, 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 very big piece of cheese. And then she watched it drop, 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 and drop onto the fox's head with a very, 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 very big... K-plop! Ouch! The crow laughed. Ha ha! And the fox learned a very important lesson. Sometimes flatterers get flattened. No, not all birds are bird brains. Oh, yeah, that too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Birds, birds rule. rule. Birds, birds are, are cool. cool. <laughs> Excellent work, Cubs. Oh, Love good writing, Cubs. Oh, the my... berries were my idea. Well, Lionel wanted to say humongous, but I... The berries. Humongous would have been good too. The Queen Who Touched the Moon by Lionel. Starring Lionel the Lion as Brave Captain Lionel. And Lionel's Rocket as Lionel's Rocket. With Queen Una Cartoon. Here's Lionel the Lion Cub, astronaut in a space helmet made from an old tin pot and a brave smile etched on his handsome face. He's the first lion in outer space. He's the first lion in outer space. See him soar in a rocket he made himself. He learned how in a book that he found on the shelf. He shrugs off danger without any fear. He's a space lion pioneer. He's a space lion pioneer. Listening to all the variety of special stories and songs by Lionel and Leona for Between the Lions. Be sure to like all the Between the Lions classics sponsored by Chick-fil-A.